Hey, hey everyone, welcome to the Coding Zoo. If this is your first time joining. My name is Shane and this is the CSS Building Blocks series. This is lesson number four in the series and we're gonna cover the HTML CSS box model. So the box model is very important. It's, a, it's basically a model that wraps every element in HTML. So it's a definitely something you have to know. I hope that interests you. If so, we're gonna jump right in. All right, so hey, let's get started. Um, so on my desktop, I have my index.html file open. I have my style CSS file open. I definitely recommend that you try to uh, program as I program. If you need to stop the video, go ahead and stop the video. Uh, if you can't, then hey, we'll have these files ready to download within a week or two of publishing this video on our website, thecodingzoo.com. You can download the files from there and check it out. I went ahead and put together a couple of pages here just to demonstrate uh, the HTML CSS block model. I put together a picture that should kind of give you an idea of what that block model is using this index and style sheet. Let's go over to that page. Let's refresh, make sure it's up to date. This picture is meant to show you the layers of that block model. Picture this content in the middle here, this square being a paragraph. It's, it's a, a few sentences wrapped in a paragraph element. Well, that paragraph element belongs to the block model. That paragraph element would wrap your content Picture this middle square being your content. Well, on the outside of that content, you'll find there is some space. That space is called padding, and you can manipulate that padding to make other items be further away from your paragraph. That padding fits inside another layer, which is your border. So your border is hidden. You can show it by using styles, and I'll show you how to do that in a few minutes. That border can be manipulated to be a dotted line, a solid line. You can change the style to whatever you like but just, just know that there is a padding, which is spacing around your content. There is a border and around that border is some more space. Well, that space is called margin. And again, that space can be, be manipulated to be smaller or larger depending on your needs. Your block elements wrap content. They have padding on the outside of that content. That's before the border. So the border wraps around that entire block element. And on the outside of that border is more space called margin. So those are the things you need to, to remember. You have padding on the inside, you have a border that wraps everything, and you have a margin on the outside. And, there, and you can manipulate all of them. Let's jump in. I want to show you an example of doing just that. I'm going to go back to my notepad plus plus over here. So hey, let's real quick, let's add uh, a, an element with some contents. I'm going to add a div here. And it's div. It could be a paragraph. It could be anything. I'm going to add a div. All right, so I'm gonna close my div. I have a sentence here, it's wrapped in a div element. Let's go ahead and click save, click refresh, and there we go. So this is the Coding Zoo video series and more information can be found at thecodingzoo.com. So this paragraph is wrapped in a div element. That div element has this model around it. So this is the content inside of that div. There should be padding on the outside of this, but if you look at it, well, there's not much space there. So I think the padding is probably set to zero. Uh, there's no border and there's no margin. So you can't really see the border. And again, there's no space here. So there's probably no margin either. Let's go ahead and fix that. And we can show you how to change all of these items. Jump over to CSS here. Let's, let's go back and give this div an ID. All right, so I gave the div an ID. We're gonna access it with a name selector, ID selector, called it main. Okay, I wanna first add a border so we can see that div. All right. All right, so You'll notice now it has a block around it. This is my border. I just activated it. If you look at this model up here, see how that, this block here, that is meant to signify your border. So between your border and the actual content, there should be some padding. But there's not. It must be set to zero. Let's go ahead and change that. All 
All right, so I added padding, 10 pixels. Refresh, there we go. So now I have the content, which is signified here. Here's the content. There's padding around it. So you see the space around the content and there's a border around it. So you see the line going around, that's your border. Now keep in mind, I can make that border uh, as large as I want to. Of course, there's usually no need to. So you'll notice the border here. I've got padding between my content and the border, but my border here is right up on this other picture up here. It's right up next to this other border. I don't have a margin. The margin, again, must be defaulted to zero with this div. So let's go ahead and fix that. And what we should see is this uh, whole block element should be separated from this picture up here. All right, so I'm at a margin. Click save, click refresh, and that should push away from the other element. There we go. So I added 15 pixels on each side. So you'll notice as I set a pixel size for margin, for padding, that it did it all the way around the block element. So there's 15 pixels on each side. So I have a margin here of 15 pixels. I have a border that's one pixel wide and I have padding on the inside, and then in the middle is my content. That's it, this is the HTML CSS block model. It's very important to understand how to manipulate this model so you can move things around, space them correctly, make your web page look good. So you definitely want to learn this model. You wanna learn the difference in padding and margin. Sometimes I used to get them mixed up. I used to, get, I used to reverse the, the, I used to reverse them. That's it for today's lesson. On the next few lessons, we're gonna have some short videos we're gonna quickly cover margin, then we're gonna have another video that covers the padding, and then another video that covers the border. We're gonna go over the different methods for manipulating those items. I hope that interests you. If it does, hey, click the subscribe button, check it out. Uh, and if you like this video, hey, click like. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below. I will definitely get back to you. Hey, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.